is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with another wwe elite action figure set leaked out or revealed to you guys and today it is going to be elite series 91 very very excited for this set man i think it's going to be a great set i know some people have already shared it I thought mine would go up early this morning. I ended up doing a lot of other things. I got very busy and got a little bit behind, so I do apologize for that. But we're back today, guys, and we are ready to get into Elite Series 91. It's it's an epic set. I'm super excited. I'm sure some of you have already seen the set, but if you haven't, guys, definitely buckle up. And in this video, we're also going to cover Elite Series 86 all the way through 91 just to recap it so you guys will have it in your brains. You can write it down if you would like because I had a lot of people asking me about 88 and 89 and other things things so just stay tuned for that we will break down all of the different sets that way we can run through it and everything guys but a huge shout out to my man Dougie Nunya for the information as well as the Toys for Life group on Facebook huge shout out to them definitely go check that out but a huge shout out to my man Dougie Nunya and my man Christian from Unstable 1047 always relying on those guys for epic news and they are absolute beasts so definitely go check them out man but diving into Elite 91 man let's go ahead and get started let's start off with the first figure and the figure that I have to get out of the way at first because it's going to drive me up the wall man rob van dam returns to the wwe elite series guys and not only are we getting a, a getting a, a rob van dam an rvd figure but it is going to be the chase variant in the set so rvd is getting two elites in this wave i know that we have been just waiting for an elite rvd for so long i know we have the elite 27 but all the different attires that he wore all the different gears that we could get man this is insane, and I'm so glad that he's the Chase variant because we can get, you know, maybe two throwback sets or two throwback attires, maybe one, like, more modern and then one more throwback, but God in heaven, man, you gotta get, like, one of the figures has to be the Tiger Stripe gear, right? It just has to be. It absolutely must be, and I would love to see the other one be either his Money in the Bank gear or his One Night Stand gear, so I don't know, you know, as long as we just get an iconic attire, give me one iconic attire for Rob Van Dam and it'll be a good day, but I could see this coming with so many great things, man. I mean, he's absolutely going to have to have, you know, uh, RVD posing hands, you know, for the Rob Van Dam chant or the Rob Van Dam taunt or whatever you want to say there and by the time we get to Elite 91 wouldn't you think that every Elite should have double jointed arms so maybe by this time we'll have a freaking crazy epic RVD with double jointed arms with the Rob Van Dam pose just gets me freaking excited to even think about but Rob Van Dam is the first figure in the set had to get him out of the way, man. RVD is the Chase variant in Elite 91. Now, let's move on to the rest of the set, guys. Up next in this set, another huge name. Another name that people are going to lose their minds over. Hulk Hogan is returning to the Elite line right here, man. This is insane. You guys know that Mattel loves to pump out the Hulk Hogan figures, as they should. You know, he's a big-time name. He sells very well. He always flies off shelves. People are always wanting the Hulk Hogan figures. And we are returning here with Hulk Hogan in Elite 91. Now, I don't know what attire it's going to be. I don't know what gimmick it's going to be of Hulk Hogan, but I don't think it really matters because a lot of people are going to want this regardless. I would love to see an undisputed champion Hulk Hogan, you know, like, like from the early 2000s. I would absolutely love to see that. That would be one that I would love to see. But I don't really care. I still think it would be a great figure. Nonetheless, it would be really excellent to see Hulk Hogan return. I'm just excited to see what gear we're going to get, how it's going to play, how will it compare to his Ultimate Editions. Again, since we're getting double jointed arms returning or, you know, getting implemented little by little to Elite figures, wouldn't you guess that, you know, by the time we get to Elite 91, every Elite will have double jointed arms? We'll have to see about that. But Hulk Hogan is our next figure in the set, man. Very big news. Two legends in this Elite 91. That is such good news. Now, next. Next up, guys, we have one of my favorite wrestlers, one of my personal favorite wrestlers. Kevin Owens is coming back to Elite 91. Now, I know that his figure probably won't be a ton different from his last Elite with the Stun Owens Stun from Elite, what was that, 80? Elite 80, I think. It will be 11 waves since Elite 80. So, I mean, that's kind of insane to even think about. I feel like we just got that KO. But there he is. He'll have, you know, all of his updates there. Maybe we'll get a, a good head sculpt again, good t-shirt, all of those different things. I always enjoy the KO figure, so it doesn't really matter to me what it looks like or what it is. I'll fix it. I'll tweak it. I'll do whatever I have to do to fix it. But Kevin Owens is a figure that I, I'll collect all of them. It doesn't matter. But Kevin Owens is a great figure, and I know Elite 91 KO will be excellent. So right now in this set, man, I think we're three for three. I don't have a problem with any of this. Speaking of Kevin Owens, guys... 
we are getting a Sami Zayn. Yes, Sami Zayn is the next figure in the set. Now, this has got to be what we've talked about multiple times before, right? I mean, it's got to have the hat. It's got to be the long-haired Sami Zayn in the camo pants with the jacket, all the different things, maybe an Intercontinental Championship. This should be a really fun figure. Uh, this was in my updates video not too long ago. I said figures that we need of, uh, you know, updated figures that we need, and Sami Zayn was on that list, so I would love to see a Sami Zayn. Haven't seen an Elite Sami Zayn in the main line since Elite 63, I do believe, when the interchangeable hands were first introduced to the Mattel WWE Elite Action figure, so that should be excellent. That figure was insane. I loved that attire, so this should be pretty good stuff, man. Sami Zayn's figure will be really good. His figures are always super underrated, so I think this is one to be definitely excited about with the accessories and things of that knowledge. So, so far, we have RVD, Hulk Hogan, KO, Sami Zayn. The next figure, guys, is a first time in the Elite line, and it is Austin Theory. Now, to be fair with you, I'm not the biggest Austin Fear. I'm not the biggest Austin Theory guy. I'm not, you know, a very big fan of him. However, it will be cool to get, you know, one of those younger talents in there. Uh, hopefully his his formula is not god awful for some reason. I feel like they're going to give him the Triple H torso. Uh, hopefully that's not the case, but uh, for some reason I feel like they're going to do that. So uh, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I, I bet they give him the Triple H tour. So I'm making that early projection right there that Austin Theory will get the Triple H treatment. However, it'll still be a cool elite. I, I'm just glad to see newer guys, you know, seeing new elites and newer things instead of, you know, something that we've gotten before. So that's pretty cool right there with Austin Theory. And then rounding out Elite 91, man, it is going to be Bianca Belair. And hopefully, it'll be in her Royal Rumble gear, the one that she won the Royal Rumble in, or it'll probably be her WrestleMania gear where she won the championship. So I would guess it will be one of those two, but nonetheless, we get a women's figure in this set, and it is Bianca Belair. Uh, her first figure was really good, probably one of the better figures of last year, and, you know, she gets the cloth goods and stuff. Uh, hopefully, we get a bendy wire in her hair. That would be nice to see, but if you compare that... RVD, Hulk Hogan, Sami Zayn, Austin Theory, and Kevin Owens. What an epic set, man. I love this set. I think it's a really great set. I mean, RVD makes the set himself, just being the Chase variant that makes it a legendary set. But then you throw Hulk Hogan, you throw KO, you throw Sami Zayn, you throw Bianca in there. And then you have the Austin Theory figure, first time elite that we're getting right there. I know we got the basic, but we have not seen an elite of him. That is insane, man. That that just gets me excited. So hopefully we will see either render images of these things at Comic-Con or maybe it'll be shortly thereafter. But I would uh, I would just love to see these figures. I can't wait to see what attires they go with and, you know, all those things. But that is Elite Series 91. Now, if you guys missed our video from yesterday where we covered Elite Series 90, right now I'm going to run through Elite 86 all the way through Elite 91 that way, you guys will not have any more questions, and, you know, that will be answered for you guys. So, let me go ahead and break it down. Now, I know you guys already knew Elite Series 86, but just to put it in perspective, I want to go ahead and name it off anyway. So, in Elite 86, we had Carmella, Bray Wyatt, The Miz, Seth Rollins, Sid Justice, and Triple H. In Elite Series 87, we have Braun Strowman, Apollo Crews, Santos Escobar, Asuka and Candice LeRae. Now, I think that Otis was a part of that set, but they ended up dropping him, I do believe. I could be wrong about that, but I do think that Otis was dropped from that set. Yeah, again, I could be wrong about that, but I think that was the case. He may still be a part of it, but I don't think he is. Elite 87 now is Strowman, Apollo Crews, Santo Escobar, Asuka, and Candice LeRae. Now, Elite 88 is Roman Reigns, Matt Riddle, Kushida, Rey Mysterio, MVP, and Trish Stratus. You guys already know that we did see the Elite 88 MVP uh, render image. We saw the Kushida a long time ago that got moved back to Elite 88. And then we also have seen the Roman Reigns from this set, which is the gold gauntlet Roman Reigns that we saw all that time ago. So there is another thing right there. That is Elite Series 88. Now Elite 89 is going to be the set that features Drew McIntyre, Dominic Mysterio, Bobby Lashley, Damian Priest, Nia Jax as the Chase, and then Sergeant Slaughter. So that set right there, again, is Drew McIntyre, Dominic Mysterio, Bobby Lashley, Damian Priest, Nia Jax as the Chase, and then Sergeant Slaughter. And then if we go back to yesterday's video, guys, Elite Series 90 is Randy Orton, Jey Uso, Mustafa Ali, Big Boss Man as the Chase, Bronson Reed, and Reckoning. And then in today's video, Elite Series 91, it is RVD, Hulk Hogan, Sami Zayn, Austin Theory, Kevin Owens, and Bianca Belair. So, lots of great stuff, man. Lots of great stuff coming. Again, all of this, all of this is really subject to change. 
but I would feel like a lot of this is pretty accurate. I don't think that we got any mismatches here. I feel like this is a pretty good thing. I think we got it all figured out there. I don't, again, I don't think we have to deal with anything crazy. But again, subject to change. Anything could happen at the drop of a hat. They could change up a series or do whatever. But I do think that this is all but confirmed. And we'll see at San Diego Comic Con, you know, some of these mystery holes and stuff like that will be filled out and we'll get it confirmed and not confirmed or things change or whatever. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have not checked out on Instagram, we are in the semifinals, I think, coming up on the best figure of all time tournament bracket. Been a lot of great stuff, so definitely go check out over there. I think we're moving on to our semifinals coming up today. But follow me on Instagram at my damn toys, guys. Before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to Pete Dunn fan who says, People who don't want to see Randy's WrestleMania 37 gear just cross the line, Brad. And yes, if Elite Series 90 Randy Orton, if you don't want the white gear from WrestleMania, man, just get out of here, man. Unless you have a, a good gear to go with it, unless you have like a replacement gear that would be just as good or, you know, just, you know, a pretty, pretty good attire, don't even look at me, Bradley. But seriously, though, that's a great attire. Huge shout-out to the Pete Dunn fan. I'm also a Pete Dunn fan. So, Pete Dunn fan, yeah, 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 don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been beaten, broken down.